Hey guys, what's up? I'm super excited to be doing this video for you. It is my first hair tutorial. So what I'm going to be showing you is how I curl my hair basically on an everyday basis. I have this down pat to where it takes me probably only 10 to 15 minutes to curl my hair. And I do have a good amount of hair. So, but what's really fun and unique about this video is that I have been sent this Lange hair uh, curling wand. They were so kind to send me this. And just so you know, I would not review this product if I didn't actually like it. Um, I was super flattered to be sent this already. I mean, I've only just started my. YouTube channel a couple months ago, so it was exciting for me to have a brand want to send me a product to review, but I did let them know that if it wasn't up to par with, you know, the curling ones I've used in the past and if I didn't like it, that I wasn't going to review it. But I was so happy that when I actually tried this out, I did really, really like it, and it's just so fun to use because of how beautiful it is. Um, this is like a very light blush pink and then the wand is like a beautiful gold kind of rose gold color so you just feel super luxurious using this um, curling wand and it's super fun and it does work really well this is a titanium barrel which means it heats up really really fast um, the other curling wand I use is a mix between ceramic and some sort of metal and it's a very good curling wand but it does not heat up as fast as this so that is one perk of using a titanium barrel. You do have to be careful. This really is for professional use, and so um, it does get very hot. Um, the product does come here. I'll show you the box that comes in. It comes in this beautiful box, and the product comes with a glove to protect your hands. I don't use this because of the way I curl my hair, and I'll show you as we get in the video. My fingers never touch the barrel, and that's because I kind of like a loose wave that's a little bit kind of straighter at the end. If you want those ringlet curls where up until the very end you want it a tight curl, I definitely would recommend using this glove so that you don't burn your fingers. Um, but I am not going to be using that today. And this is a 32 millimeter curling wand. That's an inch and a quarter, I believe. Um, all the links for this will be down in the description bar. And another really, really awesome thing that Lunge did was offer a 30% off uh, coupon code. So if you are interested in purchasing this, um, the code for that is down in the description bar. It's capital N-O-W 30, so now 30, um, which is awesome if you are in the market for a new curling wand and want a really, really beautiful curling wand that works amazing. Um, I definitely would recommend checking that out and using that coupon code. But anyways guys, let's get right into this video. I'm going to show you how I curl my hair on an everyday basis. So first things first, what I would recommend doing is having hair that is maybe not been washed for a day or so. I washed my hair yesterday morning um, so it's now been a full day since my hair has been washed and that just allows your hair to have just a little grit and it will help with the curling process. I also recommend blow drying your hair um, that wash before because what that will do is get any weird kinks out of your hair if you have that. I know like for me, I kind of have a colic right here, and so when I blow dry my hair, it kind of gets rid of that, and it'll give a um, nice kind of base, um, if we're talking like how we do with makeup, getting your face ready for the makeup. Blow drying your hair kind of gets your hair ready for the curling process. So those are the two recommendations prior that you kind of have to think through maybe a day before when you're going to curl your hair. The next step I have is before I curl my hair, even if my hair is not greasy, which it's really not right now, I still like to use a dry shampoo. And I really like this Batiste um, original one. It's super cheap and it works fine. It is white, which it, it's not that white because if it was, you'd be able to see it in my hand. But you'll notice that it does create a little bit of a white cast in my hair. If you just sit here and do this for 
30 seconds, that'll go away. What this does, and I even put this through the rest of my hair, it gives a really nice grit to the hair and will make the curl really stick and hold. It'll make the curling process a lot faster because if you have nice silky hair, which of course is beautiful, but the problem with that is the curl is not going to hold. So if you have a little bit of kind of silky um, hair, this is really, really important. I would say my hair is kind of in between, like it's a little bit coarse and thick, but it does tend to be straight. Like this is, if I were to let my hair air dry, it would probably be just like this. It has like a little bit of a weird wave in it. Um, but for people who have straighter, silkier hair, too coarse, kind of wavy hair, I would recommend using this. So the next step I do, I really only split my hair into two sections, top and bottom. So I take my hair right about here. This section, I clip up. And I just have this little clip here, works great. And then I'll curl the bottom in two halves. So I kind of do this, and now I have these two halves on each side of my head and then I just brush it out. This is the wet brush. I really could use some brush recommendations. I, this works okay when my hair's wet. Eh, it's like okay, I don't know. I could really use a new brush if you have any recommendations. My hair can tend to get knotty just because of how long it is. Now basically what I do is just start curling my hair. I start from the back and I take a pretty decent sized section. I don't like big tight curls. I'd say that's maybe about a two inch section I take. I take the wand, every curl I do is away from my face. So how you accomplish that is to kind of go behind the hair and then wrap around. I leave about two to three inches out of the barrel. That gives you that kind of beachy wave that you want. If I were to fully wrap this around, you'd start getting into that more ringlet type look, which is pretty, but that's just not the look I go for on an everyday basis. So this really only takes about 10 to 15 seconds each curl. What I do is I then let it rest in my hand for about two seconds, wave it around, because what I want to do is cool it in that curled state, and it will allow it to stay longer. And then you have a very pretty curl. So I put that to the back, and then I just keep on going with these two inch sections, wrap behind, and then leave some out, and then let it rest. This is an important part, letting it rest and cool in your hand. It's especially awesome too in the winter if your hands are cold. <laughs> it's nice and warm on your hand. I always love that. And then you just throw it back. So I'm gonna speed through the rest of the bottom half of my hair, and then I'll come back and show you how I do the top because that part is even more important to getting the look that we want. Okay, now before I move on to the top, I bring all the curls here to the front and give them a good spray with some hairspray. Again, I just use this kind of cheap product. It's a Tresemme um, Extra Firm Control Hair Spray. It's not expensive. It's drugstore hairspray, but it works great for me. So I give this bottom layer a good spray. And then I just put that to the back. And now I take down the top and hold it here so it doesn't drop behind to the already curled sections, kind of take it into uh, sections and bring it to the front. And then again, I brush through it and make sure our part is how we want it. I just use the end of this teasing comb. That looks good. Okay, so then I follow kind of the same exact steps, except for when I get to the front here, and I'll show you a little trick I do, but I still do want to spray with some of this. 
That is loud. <laughs> Some of this dry shampoo. Kind of get it in there. Okay, it also gives some really good volume, as you can see, <laughs> that'll go down. But um, again, I just take two inch sections here from the back up until I get to the front. And then I have a couple special things I do to get the look I want towards the front of the face, which is the most important piece, of course. But yeah, I'll just speed through this like I did the bottom. What I do with these two front sections is again curl away from my face, but I exaggerate it even more. So I take here and I actually kind of pull this way. And what that does is ensure that my curl has a really pretty curl kind of straight down and away from my face. I like how this looks. It kind of makes your hair look a little thicker. Um, and again, you just do these motions here. And let it kind of sink in. And I'll show you the effect that gives. So I like that. I think that looks really pretty. It allows that kind of bang look without it being bangs, of course. So again, here, kind of pull this towards. This curling wand's nice and smooth. When I do this, sometimes your hair can get a little stuck, but this is a nice smooth barrel and allows you to do this trick. And again. And there you have it. Turn off your curling wand so you don't burn down the house. What I want to do is spray this top section. And then what I do is bring both halves in front here and I take a comb like this I've linked one down below for you that's similar this is so old I think this was my mom's um, but it works great um, but I linked one similar down below that you can purchase and what I do is kind of mess up these curls so first I kind of brush through and this is better than using a brush like this because this would just really kind of tear through them this big comb kind of softens them up a little. I remember my mom would, when I was little, I loved having ringlet curls and she would tie up the little curls with um, scraps of fabric so that once I'd take them out in the morning, they'd be ringlets. And I would be like, mom, no, don't brush them through. She'd want to brush them through with this just so that they didn't look so tight. And I remember fighting her. My mom knew what was up back then. I should have let her do that because... <laughs> I'm sure that looked a lot better than what I wanted, but okay, so I kind of brush through like that and then the second step I do is to actually Take the brush in and pull up and this gives your curls or your waves at this point because they're more waves a lot of extra volume Kind of go back here so you can see all this hair And now you've just got these like big sexy waves then whoop, then to finish off I spray again to hold that wave in and voila we're done um, you can kind of mess up mess it up a little with your fingers but yeah that is how I curl my hair basically on an everyday basis it really doesn't take too too long I really do love this curling wand. I would definitely recommend it um, for multiple reasons. First of all, it's beautiful. It feels luxurious. Um, it is lightweight because titanium is lighter than ceramic, so that's nice. Since your hands are up here the whole time, <laughs> I don't really work out my upper body, so that can be um, a little bit tiring. This I don't get that with, um, and it heats up super fast. The curls, each curl takes probably 10 seconds. So yeah, I would really recommend this to you guys. Again, it's the Lange Andoulet, um 1.25 inch curling uh, barrel. 
and there is that 30% off coupon down below so I would definitely recommend checking that out um, and I hope that this was helpful for you guys if you want to try doing these sort of tussled waves on an everyday basis but other than that guys I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in my next video bye